hello friends it's Lisa and today I'd like to share with you my wax empties for October now I burned quite a few Yankee candle jars let's see one I burned 10 large jars in Yankee candle and five Bath and Body Works jars so if I keep on going at this rate I probably have about a nine month supply of candles so I guess it's always good to sort of stop buying and see what you're burning to see if you're really burning through as quickly as you think because I actually thought I would have um, burned more this month and I didn't. Okay so let's start off by showing you what I didn't get to show you last month. This part got cut off. Okay I have two colonial candles to show you. I have this willow pear. It was on the clearance rack. I only got one. Wish I would have got more. I've heard that pear scents and candles are very hard to get a scent from. This one, no problem. Burned it in my master bedroom, which uh, it's a very hard room to scent. But um, this performed beautifully, could smell it. It smells like baked pears with cinnamon. Loved it. Would I buy it again? Yes. Wish, but I can't. So wish I would have got some more of these. Very nice scent. Willow pear. Autumn Fig, this is an 8 ounce jar, love the purple color, I am a purple girl, and, um, but would I buy this again, no, it was just was not my type of fragrance, and you know what, I didn't do a review on this, and I can't really remember um, why I wouldn't buy it again, but anyway, I guess it doesn't really matter because I can't, it was on clearance, and you probably really don't care other than it did throw I just didn't particularly care for the fragrance it threw well it burned well which has generally been the case for me with colonial the other thing I didn't get to show you from last month is this Yankee Candle pineapple cilantro fragrance sphere they have this lid there's a foil wrapper you take off this plastic lid and there are these bubbles full of liquid and they're clear and they're you know all this juice um, and then as they get exposed to air, they start dehydrating, dehydrating until they're completely dehydrated and they're sort of this yellow. They go to yellow when they're completely dried out, although they're clear when they're moist when you buy them. Anyway, um, these to me are more of a deodorizer than a fragrance thrower. Like I think they go, do well at neutralizing scents you don't want but not so good you know throwing scents i use this on my office desk at work so it's sitting right by my computer where i'm at all day typing every once in a while i would get a whiff of pineapple cilantro but um you know it's not like a fragrance bulb that you plug into the wall where people walk in and you know they can smell something mm -mm. this um just it doesn't really have a fragrance. It doesn't throw. So that's why I'm not going to get it because I don't really need to absorb absorb odors at my workplace. Um, I wanted something that just threw a little bit of fragrance. So I also had um, Macintosh that I'm currently using at work and it's the exact same thing so it's not like it's just the scent so I'm not gonna buy that. I have two autumn leaves. Um, love this candle. It's got an unusual scent to it. I've done a review on it. I just don't think that there's quite another fragrance like this and I really really like this one. I mean, look at this. It does have a tiny bit of, I guess, you can see a little bit of tiny, tiny residue. But really, that doesn't bother me. I'm very happy with these. Glad, glad I bought them. I also have pumpkin ginger bark, and I really like this one, too. It threw well for me. I think I did a review on this one, but I really like it. It reminds me of, um, oh... I'm burning it now. Well, it's actually, I think this is stronger than pumpkin pie and a tiny bit uh, 
spicier. It, it grabs your nose more than pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is a little bit more mellow. But um, I really like this one. So anyway, I'm burning a tart of this with the pumpkin pie uh, candles that I have burning. Love this one. Let's see. Cozy Sweater. I did a review on this one. Love this candle. I, you know, I just love it. Um, I also got a bunch of votives in this. And I did it where you cut the votive in half, put them in the tart warmers, and those votives were so strong. I couldn't believe it because sometimes I have hit or miss luck actually with putting the votives in the tart warmers. And they were super strong. If I see any cozy sweater votives, I am picking them up because they just threw so well in my tart warmer. Like this candle, love it. Um, I did sort of think, because there were some days where I didn't have a votive in the tart warmer in the, and um, I thought the throw from this was, you could still smell it, but it was a, a little bit lighter than what I had hoped. And I did a review on it, but I think I might have also had some tarts going at the same time. But I like this candle. I would still wear portrait sit. I have one in my closet. Um, but uh, if I see the votives, I'm going to buy a ton of them. So, let's see. Yankee, this is a Yankee candle home sandalwood. Uh, there were some days where I burned the cozy sweater and the sandalwood together. I definitely prefer cozy sweater. This had a slightly stronger throw, but it's way more perfumey. I don't know. It, um, and you know, I like sandalwood. I like, I really like sandalwood, but this just had a little bit of a perfumey scent to me that didn't appeal to me quite as much. Still a good candle, but if I had to go between the two, I would choose cozy sweater, even though the throw wasn't as good on the cozy sweater as this one. Um, Country Kitchen Apple Cider. Um, I did a review on several, well, I was burning several apple scents in my main living room at one time. I think I have four going to get the scent that I wanted. This apple cider, I like really like the smell, but it was one of these Country Kitchen ones. And you know where I have trouble with the wicks. Um, at the end, it performs so beautifully. I, at the end, it did perform well, and oh my word, it smelled so good. Like, if I could have a candle throw as well as it did at the end and have this scent, oh, I would stock up on them because this scent is beautiful. And I also put it on my warmer for a couple of days, and it was out of this world, the last bit of that. I burned two November rains, one in a jar, one in a tumbler. Um, I actually thought that the scent throw was equal in them. Uh, you know, so I really didn't have a preference as one over the other as far as throw. This did pull out a little bit faster, but not that much faster than this. The interesting thing is, is what, these are only supposed to burn, I don't even know what it is. Is it 80, 100 hours? It's not that very many hours, and these are 120 to 150. And... I burned them in my master bedroom and bath pretty much, I would say 95% of the time, I would walk in the room and I'd light both of them. And I would extinguish both of them at the same time, so they were getting the same burn rates. There might have been a few times I, uh, where I lit this one and didn't light this one. But there weren't too many of them, and the interesting thing is, because I was expecting this to run out like... 10 days before this one did. It didn't. This one died out probably like three or four days before this one. So, um, you know, I don't know. I, I would purchase this in a, um, tumbler again, but, um, the large jar just did just fine with me. And I actually sort of like the large jars more than the tumblers, believe it or not, still, even with those two performing as well. Um, I have pumpkin buttercream. Oh my word, did this thing smoke at the end? That thing is like solid black. I think I need to check my walls. I pulled this out to film the video and I was going, ugh. But anyway, this is pumpkin buttercream. It threw well. 
really like this sweet um, you know frosting scent a little bit of that pumpkin I really like this one I thought it threw well this tumbler performed well but you know um, other than I guess you know cutting your your wicks all the time especially when I tend to let them burn for hours and hours you know not having a luma lid to catch that I don't really like that smoke on that one these these all sort of have a little bit of smoke I think it's because at the very end I must they're pulled out and I'm starting a new candle and I'm taking the luma lid off of them and putting it on the new one but this is harvest I like this one you know I think it's a good blending candle I don't think anybody can really take offense at the scent I think the throw is light so because of that I think it's a good blending candle sweet and spicy is what I would say you know sweet and baking spices here is um, Bath and Body Works Belt House Row look at that look how much is left in here I don't know can you see the wicks usually Bath and Body Works gets um, mushroom wicks on top sorry I just throw these in a thing it looks like some makeup powder or something got on it um, but anyway so usually Bath and Body Works candles gets the mushroom wicks but a lot of Bath and Body Works candles when they get down to that last bit well, some of them even at the beginning start struggling with the wicks this one burned fairly well until about the halfway point and it started struggling then it got to here and it was struggling and extinguishing and I'm itself and I'm just like you know what I love the scent by the way it's a masculine clone scent love the scent um, it's one of my favorite scents from Bath and Body Works you know it's one of my top ones but um, you know I'm gonna have to put that on a warmer because it was just struggling to burn this is caramel apple uh, I like this scent I don't know if it really smelled like caramel apple though you know that's one thing about Bath and Body Works sometimes their scents can be a little bit artificial and this is artificial but I liked it I mean we burned it it threw well it burned well um, you know would I buy it again yeah but it's not one of my top ones black pepper bergamot love this candle um, this is one of my husband's favorites and I this and leaves I think was one of the first ones that we bought from Bath and Body Works but um, this is a standby we'll probably always have this this is another male's cologne scent love this one love this one here is and my last item is a boathouse row uh, bulb which I have one I had one of these last month too I think it was one that I couldn't remember the name and I was like I'm gonna look it up hopefully I looked it up for you same as this candle oh my word these boathouse row fragrance ones you know how like these wallflowers generally like you'll get a couple days of scent and then it'll just sort of, sort of go away this produced scent all month long I have my daughter has one in her bathroom this month same thing throwing scent all month long and I have one that I did not bring and it was a twisted peppermint one that I had gotten at the outlet they had them in a jar for a dollar or 99 cents and of course I used a survey coupon at that time oh there was a reason why they had a giant jar of twisted peppermints for 99 cents in the fragrance bulbs because they don't really have that much scent uh, my office isn't that big at work I put it in there there was one day one day only where I came in and I was like oh I sort of smelled like a, a sweet a sweet candy with a tiny hint of mint and um, that was it that's the only time I smelled it you know people come into that office nobody you know commented that they could smell anything or what is that I mean it just really didn't have that much of a scent so anyway but that is it I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next month bye